Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a 0 to 100 makeup tutorial on this natural glam look. These kind of looks are my absolute favorite to do, so if you like it too, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. All right, let's get straight into it. Okay, so to start off getting myself together, I have washed my face, applied my serum and moisturizer. At the moment, for my morning routine, I'm using this Uspa Nourish Cream Cleanser that contains Camilla and Citrus. It's really gentle, so great for refreshing my face in the morning. And then my serum is also by Uspa. It is the Complex Serum with Vitamin C. This makes my skin feel so soft and smooth. I think it is a really great serum to have put into my routine. And then for my moisturizer, I'm using the Jolique Advanced Day Cream. This one is a really nice, lightweight, moisturizer and perfect before makeup application. Next I'm going to be putting on some eye masks because I feel like a zombie right now. I'm going to be using these ones here by Zeta and they are specifically designed for people who have tired eyes from constantly looking at screens. Whether this be from your job, your study or if you just love watching YouTube like me. These masks are quite different to others that I have tried because they are made from biocellulose, which is a natural fiber that can retain up to 100 times its dry weight in fluid. This material is also special because it fits like a second skin, meaning that the skincare ingredients infused in the mask are in constant contact with your under eyes. So every inch of your skin is soaking in the treatment. The key ingredients of this mask are aloe vera, which is great for hydrating, green tea for firming, and bitter ginger, which moisturizes and brightens. Zeta masks are also cruelty-free and vegan. So I am going to leave these masks on for about 10 minutes. I might go make myself a coffee and I'll be right back. They leave my under eyes feeling so refreshed. It has a really nice cooling sensation, which really helps to make me feel more awake. So, skincare complete. On to priming now, and I'm using the Maybelline Master Prime Hydrating Primer. I usually use an anti-redness primer, but my skin is actually looking quite clear at the moment, and I wanna go for a natural glam look, so a hydrated base is what I'm after. So I'm going to let that soak into my skin and I'm going to move on to my eyes next. I don't usually do this, but I've been trying out a bit of a different technique when it comes to priming my eyelids, so let's do that. So I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and use this as my eyeshadow base. First of all, I'm taking this flat concealer brush and I'm going to carve out my brow, which I know I haven't drawn on yet, but I'll tell you why later, and just spread out the concealer. And then I'm going to be taking this Zoeva 124 Concealer Buffer Brush. This is just a nice, dense, synthetic bristle brush. And I'm going to use this to pat over the concealer and make sure it's nice and even. Now, I'm not going to be setting this with a powder, so I am going to leave it for a couple of minutes to let it dry down and kind of set itself. I am going to be going for a natural look on the eyes, and every time I say this, it turns into something dramatic, but this time, I'm sticking to it. So I'm starting off with this Makeup Geek shadow in the shade Peach Smoothie. And to lay this shade down, I'm taking a fluffy brush. This one here is the Sigma Tapered Blending E35. Now, because I haven't set the lid, I can't just straight away go in with sweeping motions. I have to pack the color on and then blend it out. I'm then just going to take the shade Creme Brulee and place this all over my lid and blend it up into the crease. And the brush I'm using for that is the Sigma E25 blending brush. All right, now I'm going to go back to the face and I am just going to do a little bit of spot color correcting just around these blemishes on my jawline here. Firstly, I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the green shade, and then I'm going to go over the spots with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair. 
I recently uploaded an in-depth tutorial on how to cover redness, acne, scars and pigmentation. So if you're interested in that, I will leave it linked down below. And then to color correct under my eyes, I'm going in with my NYX Dark Circle Corrector. If you watch a ton of my tutorials or foundation reviews, you would know that the first place my foundation likes to come off is on Miss Noz. So I've been trying out this technique that I saw Nakia Joy do, and she uses her MAC Paint Pot. I have the shade Painterly and applies this over her nose, sets it with a little bit of translucent powder, and then puts her foundation on top. Now I have been testing this out and it actually works. So I'm going to do that today. To apply the paint pot, I just go in with this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Looks a bit manky because I've been using it. I just take a tiny bit of the product and then blend that out over my nose. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of powder. This one here is the Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this and set my nose. So that's all I have on the brush there. If you're interested, I will link Nakia Joy's video of how to do this down below because it's literally saving my life. Okay, then we can finally get onto the foundation. Today I'm using the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade Porcelain. I recently picked up two more of these at the Priceline sale because they had 40% off cosmetics, so you know I had to stock up. What I love about this foundation is how buildable it is. So if you want a lighter coverage, you can achieve that. But if you add on a few more drops, you can get a medium to full coverage. Obviously, that's how I like to use it. And it also feels really, really lightweight on the skin. And it is super long lasting. I absolutely love it. And then I just like to go over my foundation with a beauty blender to get rid of any streak marks from the brush. And I also like to use a beauty blender for the foundation over my nose as I find it gets less cakey. And then for my concealer, I'm going to be using my Essence Camouflage Full Coverage Concealer in the shade 05 Ivory. All right, then I'm going back in with that Models Prefer Loose Finishing Powder and I'm going to use it to set under my eyes and the rest of my face. All right, for brows, I'm going in with my favorite NYX Eyebrow Cake in the shade Blonde. This just works for me, so I use it every single time. Now, the reason I didn't do my brows earlier is because I have such sparse brows. I find that I really need a foundation or a concealer down around my brows for the powder to stick to. If I try and do my brows on just bare skin, it just doesn't adhere to my skin properly. It looks really faded and then I have to go over it again. So I just wait until I've got my base on and then I go ahead and do my brows. And then I'm going in with my Essence Make Me Brow to set these babies in place. As you can see, I have done my eyebrows a lot darker than usual, but I'm not going very dramatic on the eyes, so I thought I would make my brows a bit more in your face. All right, I may as well finish off the eyes while I'm here. I'm going to take the two shades I used on my lid and really smoke that out on the lower lash line. 
Next, I'm going to take some liquid liner and do a thin line across my lashes. I got it on my eyelid. Okay, so to get rid of that little eyeliner mark, I got some makeup remover on a Q-tip and just lightly dabbed it off and then went over it with my eyeshadow. So, all good. Now, I am going to put false lashes on today, so I'm going to curl my lashes, apply some mascara, and then I'm going in with these Ilua Lux Range Lashes. I have been obsessed with these lately, and this is in the style Opulent. So just put me bloody lashes on. All right, eyes are complete. I've put on my lashes, fixed up my eyeliner, bottom mascara, you know the drill. Now moving on to the face, I am going to do a light contour as this is going to be a glam look. So for this, my favorite product is this eyeshadow by Illamasqua and it's in the shade Heroin. And then I'm just going to take an angled brush and really lightly contour. For bronzer, I'm going to use my Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the shade Barley Sands. This one has a really nice sheen to it, so I think it's going to look really good for this look. For my blush, I'm going in with this Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade Coral. I want my highlighter, highlighter, I want my highlighter to be popping today. So first of all, I'm going to take this Barry M Cosmic Lights palette and down the bottom here, there is a cream, really pale gold shade. So just on my finger there, going to rub that in and then lightly dab that on my cheekbones. And then for my powder highlight, I'm going in with my MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Double Gleam. The lights kind of wash it out a bit, but it is a really, really beautiful pale gold. And so putting down that cream product first is going to make this powder highlight pop even more. Before I go in with my lipstick, I'm going to use the Insta Fix and Go Setting Spray and set my face. And then for lipstick, I'm going in with a nude shade. This is by NYX. It's the Love Out Loud Cream Lipstick in the shade Confident. And then to finish off the look, I'm going to put in some <laughs> hoops. <laughs> All right, guys, well, this is the finished look. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I will have all the products that I use listed down in the description box below, along with my Instagram. So come follow me over there if you aren't already. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.